Hello, my name is Andy. I'm going to be showing you today on uh, how to change uh, or put in a hose for the, or actually how to control it at the control box uh, for a pressurized hose that is part of a AMRAC system. Um, so just some little things to pay attention to. It's not very hard. Um, all right, so first of all, it looks like this a fire suppression system pneumatic release module. All right, it's a pretty big box, it's bigger than uh, the other boxes for the AMRAC system. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this off here, push this over to the side. Okay. So now the first thing that you do is you go ahead and you see this right here as you do in a regular AMRAC system. That's one of the first things you take off, all right? Without this, then you cannot fire this system, all right? So then what we do, if you're still a little bit paranoid, which is good, it's good to be paranoid. The more paranoid you are, the uh, less chance you have of firing the system, the happier the boss will be. Okay, so what I'm going to also just show you to do is because this hose is not a hose that goes to the tank to set it off. This goes... This right here will set this off, and then this will go to the tank and set it off from there. So now, I'll just be careful. You know, I already moved the tanks here. I'll just be careful, and I'll go ahead and do this also. Now for sure, you know, there's no way that this is uh, going to be setting off the fire system. All right? So... Um, now, what I'm going to do, why don't we just put this off to the side so we don't get it off. Okay, now, what we got here is this uh, tank right here. This tank's filled to about 70 PSI, all right? So, now, once this hose, which runs all the way through um, the hood... If it cracks at all, if it melts at all, if it loses pressure inside of this hose anywhere as, uh, as long as it is, it's going to release the pressure out of here, which is going to convert into here and dump and then set this cartridge that is over here off. And then that goes to fire the system. Okay, but we can't fire a system because we do not have this cartridge that normally goes in right there. So we're going to go ahead and fire this thing, all right? So now what do you... what? I've done is unscrewed like a hubcap that's over here. Uh, as you can see, it's right there. Okay. Now, it comes off like a hubcap. It's got a regular screw-on cap that you screw on there. And it's got a pointy end, too, as you can see on there. So now, with the pointy end, because it's let some air out, stick it in there and push. Okay, now if you want to stop pushing, you get a little nervous about something, this is not going to fire until this gets out of this green section, okay, and goes into that red. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to push this a little bit more, we got a little bit more, a little bit more, and there we go. So as you can see uh, right here, um, this piece right here, it went back in. All right, it went back in. So now, right here, because it went back in, we still got a little bit left, all right. Because uh, it went back in, it let this lever that was holding it come back, pop that, and then right there, put that piece down, which would have went into the cartridge and pressurized all the way to the tank and dumped the tank, Okay. So, now we got uh, that under control. 
Yep. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you to go ahead and reset this. All right. So one thing we got to do, we got to make sure that we have a air compressor right here. You can just have a little portable one, something to get this tank up to 70 PSI. All right. So let's see what we could do here. Um, all right, all right. So now right here, this this part's a little bit of a pain in the butt part. So let's go ahead and push this on and close this. So now this is locked in there, okay? So, which is good, that's what needs to be done. Now, one thing I want you to pay attention to is right here, it's gonna have a little nipple as I'm filling it out or filling it up, come out a little bit. And then what's gonna happen is it's going to, this is gonna be able to hook and not be able to slide that far up. All right, cause we don't want it that'll uh, trip that right there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start um, pressurizing this you could keep uh i am not sure if you'll be able to see too much but uh on this tank we're gonna wait until it gets into the green area all right let's see uh, there we go. all right so now it's filling up here see this nipple right here it's coming out okay so right there, it's already came out enough. So we could probably go ahead and set this system right now. But if it leaks at all, that is right on the verge, you know, and you could tell because it out of the gauge. So let's go ahead and keep going with this. Okay, right there is, um, it's with that white line. There's that white line and it's just like a regular fire extinguisher. Okay, now you could stop there. But the thing is, is right here, sometimes it's hard to get this piece off right away. And as you're battling to get this piece off, then air is going to be coming out. So that means you let too much air out past this green section. It's going to suck this piece back in. And then that this lever will come up and set the fire system off. All right. So I always like to go a little bit higher. Okay, so we're um, we're at like the, you know, you don't want to overfill it, but I'm at the edge of the green, the other edge, not the edge that'll trip it, as you should know in the fire extinguisher part. Okay, so what I got to do now is I got to get take this off because this is, as you can see, it can't make its way up there to trip that fire system. So now what I'm going to do is it's good to be able to have both of your fingers off. That way, when you pull this, you can use both of them and go straight out. Because now if you're trying to pull this on an angle and stuff, it's too hard. It'll get stuck too long and then you'll dump or you'll trigger your fire system. So right now I'm going to try to go ahead. So I got that off there. Did you hear that little bit of air? It's, that's why I overfill it. Because now it's right there on the white. That's a perfect fill, okay? So that is why you overfill it. And it'll make its way back down. And if it's still too overfull, then what you do is you take this piece that I showed you earlier and go ahead and tap it a little bit and put it into its section, you know, but as long as it's in the green, it's okay. So now we see that this, this part is not coming back 
this part right here because of the little nipple that came out. Okay, so now what I do, there's tools for this, but channel locks works for a lot of things here. So I'm going to use channel locks. All right, so right here, what I will do then is I will twist this up here. All right, give me a second here. I, I, what happened is I accidentally put this, as I was showing you, I pulled this out. Well, this is from the remote pull. Okay, so this is going to do like the same thing. As you pull this, a thicker piece comes out and it hits this and buckles it like that. So, all right, so now I pushed it back in, so we should be okay to go ahead and set this. All right, I think so. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. What you also got to pay attention to is this right here. All right. So you take this and push it because as you turn it, it'll slide by there. It's not letting me set it. So we'll push this. And then... That remote pull was out. All right. All right. So now your system is set. Okay. It's in the set position to where, you know, it's ready to fire. All right. So now the micro switches are back open, um, back to par. So um, what we're going to do first is it's always good to wait. They say on these especially when you first put them in with these hoses, wait, they say 20 minutes, um, so that if there's any air leakage within 20 minutes, pay attention to how far your needle is, and after 20 minutes, if it's still in the same spot, then you go ahead and, um, close everything up and things. Now, if you notice they go like halfway down uh, to the bottom of the green, then we got a little bit of a problem because in about another 20 minutes, this is going to be dumping. And if it's tied to the system, the boss will not be happy. So, all right. So now if you're still a little bit nervous, you know, if you just start in a little bit nervous, whether you got this correct or not, this is what you do. Yeah, I got the cartridge out, okay, or this um, link hole, link line, or copper tubing, I'm sorry, <laughs> copper tubing that goes to the tank. I took that off, so no matter what, it cannot go to your fire system and dump it, all right? So what I'll do is I'll take this cartridge, and I'll go ahead and screw this back in. All right, so that screwed all the way back in. Now, if it, if you screwed it in and that pin was still down, you would have dumped this system already or it'd be squirting out. So we're going to be 10 that it's been 20 minutes because of the fact that I know that there's no leakage. But, uh, all right, so then what you do, you got to take this, put it back, and tie this in. All right, so now it's time. So your box now is ready to rock. Okay, so it looks like everything is good. And, um, you know, I just wanted to let you know on how to work at the control box. So we'll show you a little bit later on how to set up things for the hose to get into there, how to flare it, things like that. But uh, I just wanted you to uh, get that basics down. If there's any question, man, it's better to ask a question than to have the system dumped. Um, I will talk to you.